Hey guys, Jake with uh, my bring back, going over uh, some of the basics of WordPress and continuing from the previous tutorial about the menu. And I'm talking about the menu right here. Your basic menu comes with um, is preloaded with the pages that you've generated. But let's say you want to get into some custom stuff. Maybe you don't want to actually show a page on the on the top menu, or uh, or maybe you want to create a custom menu where you have different links linking out. That's what we're going to run through today. So let's uh, actually go over to the back side of the WordPress. And from the back side, we're going to go down to the Appearance tab. And within there, you'll see a menu section. So go ahead and open, click into there. And you can see when you first load, basically the only option we have is to create a menu. And so that's what we're going to do is we're actually just going to click Create. After putting a name in here, we're just going to call this a main menu and create it. After we've created the menu, we also some new options highlight or are opened up to us on the left. We've got uh, basically your theme location, where we want this custom menu. Um, we can do some custom links. Then we can also throw our pages in there, and then we can also have a page that goes directly to a, a category that we have on our blog. So we're going to demonstrate all three of those today, and we're going to start with this custom links. So let's say we want a custom link going to google.com label Google so we're gonna add that there next we want just the home and the blog to show up on the on the top menu we don't want really the privacy policy on our top menu there so we're gonna add those to the menu and then let's say hypothetically we wanna we wanna link to a category so we'll have a a top menu there alright so now we've added some some actually menu items to the top bar. Now let's go ahead and categorize them, figure out the exact need. As of right now, you can see we've got the view of Google being first, which would be farthest to the left, all the way down to top list would be on the far right. So we can actually take these, drag and drop exactly where we want them. So we want the home on top, followed by, let's say, the blog, and then top list above that. The cool thing about custom menus it is it does make it easy to actually add sub menus and then you can also do automatic ads. So let's do sub menus real quick, run through that. By doing a sub menu within this uh, the parent, we can actually take this, drag it to the right and you can see now it's a it's a sub menu item of your of your parent category, your parent menu item here. So cool little feature you can add, you can you can do those options as well very quickly. The last option that I want to note before we actually look at it on the front end is this little checkbox up here. If you don't want to maintain it every time you add a new page, um, you can actually click this which will automatically add new top level pages every time you add a new top level page. So little feature to keep in mind. In this case we don't really need it so we're gonna leave it off and we're gonna go ahead and save the menu. Now after we've saved the menu it's actually not gonna show up on our front page and so we go over here to the theme locations and based on your theme you can put exactly which menu you want in your header menu and your secondary menu etc so our theme supports two menus um, basically the header and then a secondary and so in the header we're going to actually change this to main so you can see the one we've pre-populated click save and we should be good to go so we're going to go to our, our page here refresh our, our site and there you go you can see we've got the home the blog and then the category top list with a subcategory of Google so that kinda adds a whole different perspective you can make uh, custom menus to guide your users a little bit more usability and uh, definitely definitely help them out as far as uh, navigation on your site so that's it for the custom menus I'm going to show you how to actually add those uh, custom menus as a as a widget area as well. So stay tuned for the next tutorial, and uh, and we'll go through that next.